How about this guy right here? See his hands? See them big wide paddle feet? That is not a vole. That is a mole. Well, what's up guys? This is Daniel from Arms Family Homestead and it is, as you can tell, a gorgeous sunshiny day here in Oklahoma. It's been a rarity lately and uh, the goats think they need to be fed before I do my chores out here. But the first thing I'm going to do is come down here to the high tunnel because guys, I'm having a huge problem with moles. They are literally like destroying my raised beds, destroying just put that down they're just terrible and oh, so a lot of people swear up and down they keep telling me moles won't eat your crops moles won't eat your crops they only eat um like grubs and worms and insects and things and they say if if your crops are getting eaten it's voles not moles well i've got some proof here got some proof here how about this guy right here? See his hands? See them big wide paddle feet? That is not a vole. That is a mole. And these moles, I swear to you, are eating my crops. So under my low tunnel here, see if I can find a spot. Here we go. So this little area of my low tunnel, this bed here has beets in it. There's just a few left, there's not a lot. But as you can see, here's a perfect example. You see that hole in the ground right there? Here's one of my beets. They are 100% eating the beets. Sounds like we've got some company coming. Bella, who's out there? Hey, what are you doing over here, Lambert? You can't come in the greenhouse. You'll eat all my food. Nope, nope, nope. Lambert, you're out. Out, out. So I have proof that they are eating my crops. There's a dead mole that I've, I've already, huh, I killed one. Whew. He uh, surfaced in my raised bed. And I've got a trick how I killed that little guy. But let me show you what he's doing to my spinach over here. So this is a spinach bed that's being done the same way as the beets. So there's the bottom of the spinach plant. And they're just going underneath the crops and eating the roots. So as you can see, there are holes all in here where they're tunneling under my crops. There's just little trails all in my raised beds. The problem is, is we've got to get these moles out of here before I can start planting transplants into these raised beds. Now I killed one, and I'm going to show you a little trick. Got a special secret ingredient in how I killed that mole. So these moles have been a problem in my hot tunnel since about last fall, and I've tried traps. I'm not having much luck with traps. I tried the poison worms, and I think the poisonous worms work. They're a, you know, I buy them on Amazon. I think they work pretty well. But a lot of you express concerns about using poison in my garden and it kills the mole. The mole dies, the poison's still here. So I kind of understand that. And then I bought the little solar panel stakes that you stab down into the ground and they put off a little ultrasonic sound. Listen. So basically you just take this thing, stick it down into your garden soil or your raised bed and they put off that sound or that pulse and it's supposed to, to deter the moles. But they seem to be working, actually, surprisingly, very well. Hear it? So, they're super simple to use. I don't know how long it'll last. I don't know how long it'll be effective for the moles. And they seem to work pretty good for a while. And then the moles just keep moving. It's kind of like a cat and mouse game. They kind of worked for a while. I don't think they're working great anymore. So new plan some of you guys suggested this to me i had never heard of this before and then i went and did some research for myself and juicy fruit gum yeah this right here is supposed to be the sweet ticket to killing moles 
and I've got one so far, so I went and bought a whole handful of juicy fruit. So the, all you're supposed to do, according to my research online and from some of you subscribers, is you take the juicy fruit, well, scratch that. The juicy fruit's for the mold, so basic, simple process. All you really do, you don't need a whole stick of juicy fruit per hole, so you can just take a stick of juicy fruit, break it in half. Why juicy fruit? I have no idea. But there are lots of websites that say juicy fruit gum. Yeah, juicy fruit gum will kill moles. Something about it, it, I guess it's just the sweet flavor that attracts them and then their body can't digest it. So once they eat it, they can't break it down, they die. We're gonna use juicy fruit to kill moles. Simple process, watch this, here's all I'm gonna do. So I've got these little mole holes all in my raised beds here in the garden. I'm just gonna take half a stick of juicy fruit, stick it down in there and kind of cover that hole up. And when they come along and find that juicy fruit gum, chew it up and go on about their business and then they're gone so here's another one we're just gonna take put her down in there kind of cover it up a little bit to disguise it and basically I'm just gonna repeat that process all through these raised beds hopefully Bella doesn't decide to eat the juicy fruit before the moles do I'm gonna lock her out of here in just a few minutes but supposedly that juicy fruit works wonders in killing moles and so far, we've got one down off of one pack of Juicy Fruit. So 35 cents, whatever it was for a pack of Juicy Fruit gum, killed one mole that I know of. I, for whatever reason, that one was laying up on top of the raised bed. It was like he, he ate the gum and he was laying up on top of the soil. So, eh, maybe, maybe it works. I don't know. We're going to give it a try because garden season is almost here and I've got to get these moles out of my garden, out of my greenhouse, and especially out of these raised beds because they're just not letting me keep my crops. They're eating the roots right out from under them. So as I said, this is my first time just experimenting with the Juicy Fruit grunt Gum to kill the moles. So far I think it's killed one mole that I know of and I'm going to try, I'm going to, I'm just going to hammer these beds full of Juicy Fruit Gum because if I don't get the moles out, I'm not going to have any crops. I mean, they haven't hit the kale and the Swiss chard yet, but the beets, man, they just love the beets. Everyone says, oh, don't worry about those moles. They aerate the soil. They eat the grub worms and things like that. They're just kind of helping you. Well, in my garden, they're eating more food than I am. And I don't like it. For whatever reason, they love beet roots and spinach roots. So far, the kale, woo, not so much. So we got a few, the few greens left. But they're just hammering away at them right now. And uh, like I said, with spring coming, spring almost here i really want to get this high tunnel planted out and get everything filled in obviously there's not a whole lot going on in here right now and the sun is terrible in the evening so we got to get the moles killed and the light situation figured out i hate trying to film outdoors sometimes it's so difficult but anyways chewing on my juicy fruit gum guys if you've used juicy fruit and had any success in killing moles controlling moles in your garden let me know in the comments section down below I may be wasting my time, but I really don't think so. Um, trying to try not to put poison out here in my garden because obviously it stays in the soil. I get the concern there. So we're trying something a little more gentle and less toxic. But anyways, guys, that's all I've got for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. You guys have a great day and we'll see you on the next video.